Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to use JavaScript array of objects in a website. And then later we will add the code to our Blogger website. Now let me explain to you what we're going to do in this video. So here we can see we have this page where we have random codes displayed over here. When we refresh this page or when we click on this new code button. So let me just refresh this page. And here we can see we have a new code displayed over here. And even if we click on this new code button, a new code will be displayed over here. Now we are displaying these codes over here based on an API. So we are requesting the API for a code and then we are getting a random code from the API and then we are displaying it over here using JavaScript. Now we don't have an idea of what codes are available in the API. So we don't have any idea of which codes will be displayed over here. Now in this video, we will create a JavaScript array of objects and we will store the codes that we need in that. And then we will display the codes from our list. Now in this way, you have a list of codes that will be displayed. Now this same method can be used to display a lot of different things. For example, to display a random joke or to display some information about a celebrity and a lot of things like that. So it is up to you what information you want to show over here. So with this method, you don't need the help of any API. You can display anything you want. So you will have control over all the data that's going to be displayed over here. So let's get started. All right, this is the code that is responsible for displaying the random codes on our web page. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And I also have videos on how to write all of this code from scratch. You can check them out in the description of this video. Right now let's open this in our browser. So I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server. Right now let's go back and let's go to the main.js file. And now the first thing we need to do over here is to create an array of objects. So let's create a const and I'll just type codes and we'll set it equal to an array. And now in this array, we need to create objects. Now to create an object, you have to type curly braces and in that you need to have the properties of the object. So the first property that we will have is ID and we'll set it equal to zero for the first ID. And then we will add a comma and the next property we need to have is a code or let's just call it content. And here you can type the code that you want. And then the last property that we need to have is the author. So I'll just type author and here you can type the name of the author. So this is our first object and the first code. So let's copy this and let's paste it down here. And now this is the second object and uh, we will have the second code over here. Now in the same way, you need to create different objects for different codes. So I'll just quickly add some codes over here. All right, so I have copied all these codes over here and uh, we have seven codes in total. Now we'll display the codes from this codes array instead of the API. So let's scroll down and go to the function. So here we have this function called next code and in that we have this code to fetch the data from the API. So I'll just go ahead and comment all of this code. So I'll just select all of this and press control forward slash to comment all the code. And here we can see in this code, we are calling this function called update code. So let's call that function over here. So I'll just type update code. And here we will pass the name of our array. So here we can see the name of the array is codes. So I'll just type codes over here. Now here we need to pass the index of the array. So let's type zero for the first index. And now let's save this and let's go back to our page. And here we can see that the first code is being displayed over here. So if we go back to our codes array, here we can see this is the first code. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to display random codes, not just the first code. So let's go back. And what we will do is we will generate a random number from zero through the number of codes that we have over here. So here we can see the last ID is six. So we need to generate a random number from zero through six. Let's go back to our browser and let's open the console. So I'll just right click and click on inspect and click on console. Now in JavaScript, you have this method called math.random. And if I just type math.random over here, we can see it gives us a number between zero through one. So it gives us random number from zero through one. Right now what we can do is we can multiply the random number by another number. So let's type math.random. And if I just multiply it by let's say six, we can see we have this number over here. Let's run this code once more. And we have another number. And uh, here we can see we have different numbers. So now we have numbers from zero through six. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to get just this first number over here. So we can use a method called math.floor. And in that we can just type math dot 
random and then just multiply it by any number so let's type 6 over here and now we can see we have number 1 now we have number 2 we have number 2 1 4 4 and we have all these random numbers over here from 0 through 6 so let's use the same method to generate random numbers so let's go back to our function and here we will type let quote id equals and here we will type math.floor and here I'll type math.random and now we need to multiply this by the number of quotes that we have so for that you can just type quotes.length and this will give us a value of 7 because we have 7 quotes over here now when we add a value of 7 over here it will generate a random number from 0 through 6 and now the next thing we need to do is we need to replace 0 with the quote ID so now let's go back to our website and let's see whether everything is working alright so here we have a quote let's refresh this page and here we can see we have another quote let's refresh this page once again and we have another quote so here we can see different quotes are displayed over here from the list of the quotes that we have provided even if we click on this new quote button we have different quotes from the list now it's just a matter of adding all the quotes you want over here inside this array so you can add any number of quotes over here and then this function will generate a random quote ID and display that quote over here so in this way you can display random information without using any API now the last thing we will do is we will add this code to our blogger website here we are fetching the code from the API so let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to pages and let's go to our random code generator and we need to make changes in our JavaScript so let's scroll down and go to the script tag so here we have the script tag so I'll just delete all of this from here and let's go back to our JavaScript and I'll just copy everything from here and let's go back and paste it inside the script tag now we can just remove these lines of code over here now let's click on update and let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have the code from the list that we have provided so every time we click on this new code button or refresh this page we have a random code from the list so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day